Los Angeles, once a sleepy ranch town, now home to the stars of Tinseltown, the captains of industry and over one million men, women, and children. And home also to murder. The horrific slaying of Betty Short, a.k.a. the Black Dahlia, has captured the imagination of the Southland and baffled the best minds in law enforcement. But the Black Dahlia is only the latest nightmare to shock Los Angeles. The city's history is rife with criminality, mystery, and darkness. The year is 1871. Two Chinese men argue over a young woman in downtown L.A. A gun goes off. A Caucasian man is accidentally killed, and madness ensues. A mob of 500 white men pour into Chinatown, ransacking homes and attacking any Asian person in sight, in the end, killing more than 20 people. Unfortunately, this would not be the last episode of racial violence in the so-called City of Angels. News flash. In the early 1900s, the Los Angeles Times was a conservative news rag that was rabidly anti-union. On October 1st, 1910, some person or persons expressed a contrary view. With dynamite, the downtown offices of the Times were utterly destroyed, and 21 people lost their lives. Two union leaders were accused and eventually pled guilty to the crime. Kidnapping, murder, and madness. On December 15th, 1927, William Edward Hickman kidnapped Marion Parker, the 12-year-old daughter of a prominent Los Angeles banker. The ransom was agreed upon, and Mr. Parker drove to a specified location with the money, where Hickman waited in his car. Next to him was the girl, apparently alive. The kidnapper drove off, pushing Marion out of the car. Much to Parker's horror, his daughter was dead. Bizarrely, her eyes had been wired to appear open, and her legs had been cut off. One week later, Hickman was arrested. He was convicted of murder and hanged at San Quentin Prison. War time. As the battle for the Pacific rages, Los Angeles is filled with soldiers and sailors by the thousands. On June 3rd, 1943, a group of servicemen complain of an attack by a gang of zoot-suited Mexican-Americans. In response, they gather a small army of men and head to the predominantly Mexican neighborhood of East L.A. Over the next few days, soldiers and zoot-suiters clash in the streets. Only when senior military leaders declared Los Angeles off-limits to servicemen did the riots finally subside. Zoot suits were banned from the city. But the most sensational crime to command the headlines is the murder of young Elizabeth Short, now infamously known as the Black Dahlia, a 22-year-old aspiring actress found dead in a vacant lot on January 15, 1947. Her body mutilated, drained of blood, and literally cut in half. Over 60 men and women confessed to the crime, and the police interviewed thousands of potential suspects and witnesses. Yet the Black Dahlia murder remains unsolved. In a sense, the murder of Betty Short is the ultimate example of the dark side of L.A., a young woman drawn to the city of angels by the dream it offered, a dream that became a nightmare.